making some coffee and tea. Can't cook inside, but to be honest with you, I kind of enjoy doing this outside. Got tea for myself and instant coffee for Meg. I don't think this stuff is very good. I don't drink coffee, but. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our tiny cat. I was so excited. I wanted to be able to do that with a straight face. Welcome to our tiny cabin. Yeah. Right away, we walk in. We've got this nice big storage area, which clearly we've already unpacked. Um, no kitchen. I don't even know if I've looked in here. Oh yeah, cleaning supplies. So no refrigerator, no kitchen stuff. We brought our crock pot because we said we could. But then we got groceries, but that's about it. And then over here, we've got the bed situation, a queen and a full size. So. Four people could easily sleep on these two beds. Again, more storage underneath here, which is just awesome. Good. Okay, so just kind of one big open area, which feels a little bit different than the other tiny cabin we were in, which felt more like separate, like living spaces on both sides, and then, or sorry, sleeping on both sides, and then living in the middle. This is kind of just one big open space, which I kind of like, because if you were to sleep, it sleep six, right? Two, four there, and then this, couch is a pull out, right? So if you had six people, you would want open space for just like stuff, right? It's gonna, we have this nice table. I really love these drapes. I mean, all on a pulley system, right? But it's kind of nice to give us a privacy at night when we're definitely like lighting up and it's pitch black everywhere else. But yeah, and then we have this nice view, prairie view. Oh, scares. So how we can see in this tiny cabin in the middle of winter is that it is beautifully heated to a balmy 70 degrees, right? This is the machine up top there that's running all the heat. I'm honestly not sure what this is. It may be all the floorboard heaters because there's floorboard heaters the entire way over here. It may be the actual floor. I'm not sure. It gets a little cold over there, but like this cement floor is not that cold, which is shocking to me. So not totally sure about that one, but yeah. Oh, it also just has like outlets everywhere here for like, honestly, every corner, anywhere you could possibly want an outlet, 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 outlet by the bed, right? Outlets up there. I do love these little like reading lights, super fun. Uh, but great for being able to like not totally be off the grid if you need to have access to electronics or there is also Wi-Fi. I used it this morning. Our cabin seems great. Sounds like in the, maybe some of the other cabins that are further off might be a little spotty, but not something we've struggled with. We're going skiing. We are out here at Lebanon Hills Regional Park, cross-country skiing. Um, we rented some cross-country ski gear from the visitor center, which is nice. It's only about a 15 minute drive away from the cabin over at um, Whitetail Woods Regional Park. Um, so if you don't have your own cross-country ski, ski gear, come on over to Lebanon Hills. It's about a 15 minute drive and you'll be all set up. If you do have your own gear, um, there's plenty of trails right by the cabin, right there in Whitetail Woods Regional Park, so no need to even travel. Um, so that's a perk if you have your own gear. <laughs> Man, I'm coming in hot, so watch out! Ben! Ben! <laughs> Pick a direction! <laughs> I 
So at uh, White Tail Woods Regional Park, they actually have five cabins. Um, we're staying in Prairie Cabin number four. They have three other cabins that are in the woods, and then two of these prairie cabins, which are brand new. For our stay here, we paid $90 a night, which really isn't that bad at all. Like it's just the two of us in here now, but obviously if you split the cost with like another couple or something, and you had like four, and this place sleeps up to six, it really would be very reasonable, like $90 a night is not that much, but keep in mind, it is a camper cabin. Also, for these specific cabins, make sure if you want to book, like plan way out in advance. I booked these in November, and it is now February, and I can only book them during the week because they fill up so fast get on their website, book ahead, because they fill up super quickly. We'll show the bathroom accommodations here in a second. Walking over to show you guys the restrooms, I'd say it's probably about, how far would you say this walk is? Like, See, the restroom. Less than 100 paces. Less than 100 paces, whatever that means. Um, it's not very far. There it is. See, it's not that far. 55. 55 steps. 55 steps. There you go. 55 steps. All right, Meg, show us what we got. Let me Hold tell on. you, first of all, not heated. Okay. Not heated. Pit toilet. Do you have a hook? You There's walk in. It doesn't smell, but I think that's because it's winter. These Pretty vents down here probably help with the smelling, but it also helps with the freezing cold. And we will spare you and not open it for you. There is toilet paper, plus have been to some pit toilets where that's not so reliable. Pretty much the basics. Um, also at the main house, which is like a little bit further walk, they also have showers apparently. We haven't checked those out yet. I think they actually might be closed for the winter, but if you're here in the summer and you want a shower, you have access to that. So there you go. There's the restrooms. All right, we're gonna go for a little hike, get some more fresh air, as well as maybe try to check out those other cabins, see what those look like. But, uh, low on water. also we're on the search for a little bit of water because we got none. So make sure you bring enough water if you come here. Looks like that where that's where water normally oh, is. This is warm. I bet that bathroom is warm. Is that a shower? Yeah. Look. All right, Kurt. Okay. This is the shower, and it's heated. It's warm. It feels good. That's pretty it's nice. Decent. So, if you need to take a shower when you're at the cabins. Yeah, heated. Nice 72. The floor is heated. 76. Nice. Sweet. All right. If you need a shower, you got it. Here at the cabins. So, so if you can see behind me here, these are the cabins that are in the woods. A little bit more privacy. Probably a little bit smaller, but definitely still look really cool. No, it's strong enough. I think this one's better. I think that's strong enough? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> that's not very good. Oh. You have a knife too, I can crack you in. Looks like Meg found her stick for roasting marshmallows. I gotta find mine now. Where? Uh, All right, I got my stick for roasting marshmallows. We'll have to sharpen it a little bit at the end there, but we're good. We're getting a fire going. Keep us warm for tonight. And so we can roast marshmallows.
See you later, tiny cabin. It's been a good stay. Also, what's clutch is this green cart that they give you to tote all your stuff. One trip, that's what I'm talking about. You don't have to make like 15 trips from your car to your cabin. Hope you enjoyed this video. Um, me and Meg try our best to kind of find fun little things to do, just kind of get away from the hustle and bustle of life. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully some of you maybe come stay here sometime. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a subscribe. We really appreciate that. Um, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.